Well, Governor Cuomo was in Binghamton today to talk about the New York Rising program. It's an initiative designed to provide flood-prone communities with money, and we could see millions here in the southern tier. WENYHD's Laura Queso has the story. Two years later, southern tier residents are still picking up the pieces from Tropical Storm Lee. Yeah, there's a lot to digest. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any anything too too come to mind to actually put into words. But hopefully you can digest this, a potential $12 million in flood funding. It's part of Governor Cuomo's initiative, New York Rising. You come up with a plan. If the plan is smart and an efficient and effective use of the money, we accept the plan. You can get up to that amount of money, basically $3 million per town. This is federal money left over from Sandiade. The town and village of Nichols can each apply for $3 million. So can the town and village of Owego. Well, this is desperately needed. Uh, we've been more than two years. There's still people that haven't been able to rebuild. John Spencer, owner of Riverside Books in Owego, is one of those people. The basement of his bookstore flooded with more than 10 feet of water. Well, the basement is our very popular part of our store in it. It hurt that because we couldn't sell books, bargain books that people like. Spencer took out a loan to rebuild. A year and a half later, it's back open, beefed up to guard against any future floods. And this new relief money could go to prevention on a larger scale. So we need to go back into the streams and all of the tributaries that flow into the river and clean them out and, pro and provide spillways, which the water could then flow during these large events. Let's learn from this and let's actually make improvements so if it happens again, when it happens again, we're in a better position. In Binghamton, Laura Queso, WENY HD News.